What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about a movie coming out later this week called Huesera the Bone Woman. Written and directed by Michelle Garza Cerevera, who wrote this film alongside Avia Castillo and Patricio Saiz. This film stars people like Natalia Solian, Alfonso Dosal, Mayra Batala, and many more. So before I get too far into this, I'd like to say a big thanks to those beautiful people over at XYZ Films for sending me over an early screener for this movie, Huesera, or at least that's what it was originally titled, and now it's titled Huesera the Bone Woman. This film comes out of Mexico and is spoken entirely in Spanish throughout the course of the runtime. Time. This is a horror film that's been showing up in various film festivals since June of last year in 2022 and officially will be getting a release later this week on February 10th in theaters in a limited release as well as releasing on VOD for a wider audience starting February 16th. So again, a big thanks to those beautiful people over at XYZ Films for sending me over an early screener for this movie and let's get into my thoughts on this one. So I will be staying away from spoilers because the movie hasn't come out yet but I do want to talk about the base premise of this movie. When the movie opens, we're introduced to a woman named Valeria and her husband Raul, and we find out that they've been trying to have a child, and thankfully, after many attempts, finally are pregnant with their first child. And we very early on into the movie realize that there's a bit of a weird family dynamic when it comes to Valeria's family, as they've kind of looked at her as the black sheep of the family who hasn't gotten pregnant yet, and she's kind of pushing the years, and there's definitely an element of this film that heavily leans into women's place in society and kind of the view that a lot of women even themselves have especially coming from the Hispanic culture as somebody who is a Hispanic even though I grew up here in the States I definitely saw that in a lot of people in my family or in other families that I was familiar with that were Hispanic as well and you see that kind of pressure across the board when it comes to women unfortunately but I do find that there's a different approach to it when it comes to Hispanic households and so since this movie takes place in Mexico there is definitely that societal pressure in terms of being a mother and what it means to be a woman and what your role needs to be and when you should have a child. And so right out of the gate, you realize that Valeria feels like the black sheep of her family and she's just excited to finally have a kid, but doesn't necessarily feel like she's ready and her family doesn't really seem to give a, her a whole lot of uh, positive energy or reinforcement or anything that's really gonna make her feel supported in this situation. However, her husband Raul is super excited. He seems like a really supportive and loving husband and it seems like they're gonna have a great future on their hands, except shortly after becoming pregnant, there's an evil entity that starts to screw with Valeria making her see things and because she's seeing things and because she's having bad dreams and things are just starting to be warped in her mind those around her start to think she's going crazy and starting to think that she doesn't know what she's doing or that she's gonna be a danger to herself and her child and maybe she's not prepared for children and I'll leave the base premise of the film at that I don't want to say any more for anybody going into this movie who wants to kind of go in as blind as they could and going into the movie myself I had no idea what this movie was gonna be be about I only saw the poster and I saw that the title of the film that was about it so going into it I was very open to seeing what this movie was gonna be all about I didn't even know this was a Mexican film I didn't know this was a Spanish film and so going into it I was like oh cool like a, a nice horror indie film coming out of Mexico I'm all in and when it comes to Spanish films that are horror I always find that if they're done really well sometimes they're the most eerie kinds of horror films out there a lot of times nowadays in American horror there's a bit of a cookie cutter approach to a lot of horror films while there are top tier horror films still coming out in the genre coming out of America a lot of times I find that the ones that are the most interesting or actually creepy are coming from foreign markets and so something out of Mexico this movie definitely had a very eerie different creepy tone to its overall feel and vibe you have a great use of cinematography and sound design here and there's a lot about this film visually that I thought was really really eerie and creepy and without a doubt was one of my biggest positives of this movie on top of eerie visuals, good sound design, good performances, as well as good cinematography, I think that where this movie really shines is in its messaging and the things it has to say about motherhood, postpartum depression, and overall female body autonomy in a world where a lot of women feel controlled or kind of navigated in a direction that doesn't necessarily feel like the direction they want to go a lot of times. And saying all of this, it's unfortunate that I have to say that unfortunately by the time we got to the end of the film, I, I wasn't really 
really on board anymore. The first act of this film I thought was great. I was completely on board. It was creepy. It was eerie as things started to happen. There was something about it that was off-putting. I watched this film at night in bed under the covers uh, with the lights off. And yeah, my fiance was sleeping right next to me. I was just watching the movie. And there was a couple of moments where I was taking a look over at the bathroom door or taking a look over at the little bit of light that was coming through the door from a light that was out in the living room. Yeah, I was a couple of moments watching this that I found myself a little bit creeped out. And so I think a lot of that has to go to the cinematography and the sound design and the atmospheric music and tone that this film definitely sets up. There was a lot about this film that I found was really creepy and eerie and kept me engaged. And as things were progressing and I was getting more invested in the performances and the characters in the first act, I found myself really disappointed as we got into the second act and I just started to find the film to be a little bit redundant and I started to kind of just lose interest in where the story was going. While there were creepy visuals throughout and there was stuff that consistently kept me interested to see where the movie was going, the latter half of the film and the story choices made just kind of took me out of it and by the time we got to the very end, I feel like I never fully understood why this evil entity chose our main character Valeria. I never truly understood what the resolution was there is a resolution to what's going on in this movie but I never really fully understand how it came to be why it came to be and why anything was really happening in this film in a lot of ways this film's real strength is its messaging around motherhood again postpartum depression a uh, female body autonomy and various other elements when it comes to motherhood in general but beyond that I just found myself disconnected from the story even if I could admit that I thought the performances were great throughout that the camera work and the overall film filmmaking that brought this movie to life was really solid. Now I say all of this knowing that I think that there is going to be an audience for this film. I think that at the end of the day the story decisions near the end and some of the I guess lack of explaining a couple of things and kind of some of the th stuff that's left ambiguous throughout the course of the film I thought that that stuff is what took me out of it there was just elements about it that left me thinking well, why did this happen and where does, is this going and what was the reason for this and maybe that's gonna work for some but for me it just left me feeling eh. by the time we got to the end of the movie I wish I was more on board with the characters I wish I was more on board with the journey and just feeling like there was a sense of resolution by the end of the film because while there is a sense of resolution by the time the credits roll at the same time I just feel like I never fully understood what that resolution was was and how we got there and what the real sense of stakes were throughout the course of the film. Again, I really enjoyed the first half of this film. I found it to be a very well acted film that again has a lot of really interesting themes and messages around motherhood, but I just never found myself fully invested in where the story actually ended from the second part of the second act into the third act. There was a lot of redundancy at that point and there was a lot of elements visually that were really cool and a lot of performances that I thought were really great and I really enjoyed diving into the psyche of this woman Valet as she's starting to see everyone around her kind of lose faith in her as a mother or as somebody who can care for children at all. And even though there was a really interesting element there, again, when it comes to motherhood, the latter half of the movie just lost me. So that's all I'm going to say on this movie. Definitely want to hear what you guys have to say. So I do recognize that a lot of you probably clicked on this video because you already saw the movie. The movie's already out and you're just curious to hear what other people have to say about it. So I want you to chime in down below now. Let me know, did you like this movie? Did you not like this movie? I definitely want to hear some different opinions. If you like the film and you disagree with me, let me know what you thought down below. Let me know what worked about this movie for you. Did you like where the story went with the last half of the movie? Or are you a little bit more like me where you feel like the latter half of the movie story-wise kind of undercuts some of the stuff going on in the the strengths of the story at the very beginning of the film. I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say. Hit that like button, comment your thoughts, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.